The Channel 5 sports team is also in Las Vegas this week, not for Cirque du Soleil or Celine Dion, but for the WAC basketball tournament. Today, the UTRGV men's team touching down in Vegas, and Channel 5's Brandon Ortega was there for the arrival. He joins us live tonight from Vegas. Brandon? Hey there, Joel. This is the place for March Madness where teams come to chase the dream of playing in the NCAA tournament. And this is where dreams can either get crushed or where they can come true. Right behind us in the Orleans Arena, that's where Gonzaga and St. Mary's were battling for a spot in the NCAA tourney. UTRGV men's basketball, they have yet to make it to the big dance in their school history. This week, as they rolled into Las Vegas, a fresh start on the minds of the Vaqueros. Feels good, you know. It's like starting a new season, told the guys it's 0 0. Come here, know what we're here for. You know, I want you to enjoy yourself, but we're here to try to win a championship. UTRGV enters the WAC tournament with a nine game losing streak. As they stepped into the team hotel, come tournament time, the Vaqueros hope to turn things around and bust up the WAC bracket. I'm just soaking everything in, just seeing, seeing what happens and, uh, Trying to draw everything with my teammates, and I just want to finish finish it out with a bang. It feels exciting. It was exciting last year. I mean, this is a great city, you know, just a great place to be playing basketball. A lot of opportunity, good chance for us. For several players, this is their first experience in the bright lights of Sin City. Vaqueros like Mike Hoffman have dreamed of competing in March Madness. It's been great. I know my dad and I. That's how we bonded a lot when I was younger, just watching college basketball, especially March Madness, because anything can happen. It's just like it says, madness. So it's really exciting to watch. Many Vaqueros chomping at the bit to play in March Madness. Now, Mac Hoffman and Lou Saworth, they were red shirts last year, had to stay back in their dorms watching the conference tournament from the Valley. But this week, both Hoffman and Saworth and the rest of the Vaqueros will be in uniform on the floor, ready to take part in the WAC tournament. Now, the Vaqueros actually get tipped off on Thursday. They'll take on UMKC to tip off the quarterfinals. Reporting live in Las Vegas, Brandon Ortega, Channel 5.